So we season it here with some extra fish sauce and sugar and let it simmer for another 30 minutes and finish it. Smells so fragrant. Mm. Just another piece of sugar. Bone broth is kind of the new rage, but Vietnamese people had it way before bone broth became such a big hit. But I really think it's really hard to mess up pho. I mean, it's beef bones and you're letting it simmer. You're adding beautiful spices to it. It's kind of a perfect meal always when it's cold outside. You want a little piece of home. You can also add a bunch of things, like you can add tripe, um, flank steak, filet mignon. There's so many variations of this that you can add. This is a pretty simple, um, straightforward pho, but you can always jazz it up and add different things that you like to it. Mm, okay, that's perfect. Okay. I would say that my pho is ready. Oh put it in a bowl and serve it on up. Now what I'll do is I'll put on a pot of water to boil and uh, so we can put our noodles in there. You would never put your noodles into your faux broth because that would cloudy it up. So let's do that and then we can have our beautiful bowl of pho. Okay, I'm just taking out the fat for the oil. And here's actually a trick that I learned from interviewing so many chefs who actually make pho is like before they actually serve it, they dip their bowl into a pot of, uh, they have a pot that they just dip it into hot water so that um, pho comes out steaming hot and it stays hot. So we could do that to our noodles now. strainer basket for your noodles. home stretch. Now what we want to do is cut this brisket. Okay. Okay, that should be good.
you don't want to put your beef in too early or else it'll become too uh, too cooked. bring it over and the final step is ladling the soup. So we are at our home stretch now. What we'll want to do is this reserved oil that I talked about earlier, some people like to serve it with it. So what you do is you spoon it in here. And you would add scallion. Oh, it's too big. And then you just add a little more cilantro. This is the culantro. And I think pho is very personal to so everybody. Um, some people like uh, the bean sprouts already uh, cooked. Some like it raw. It just depends on what you like. Some like these whole. I like to break them up. Mm, smells so good. Bean sprouts. And some. Jalapenos. And of course, you can't have pho without sriracha or hoisin sauce. So, bon appetit. Let's give this a try. Mm. That's really good. Tastes like I spent all day slaving over it, but this was a really quick meal. Very flavorful. Mm. It's really good. You don't need to drive to Bolsa. <laughs> now, no matter where you live, you don't have to drive to Bolsa to get your bowl of pho. That was super easy and super delicious and it didn't take me all day. It's good stuff. And that will do it for us here on Fantastic Feast. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at fantasticfeast at gmail.com. Until next time, thanks for joining us.